Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. And today in this tutorial we are discussing about how we can sort numbers in Python. In short we can say how we can sort list, tuple and dictionary. Because to sort we need group of numbers. And we can store this group of numbers or multiple numbers in the list, tuple or dictionary. So today in this tutorial we are discussing about how we can sort list, dictionary and tuples. So we can sort numbers or list, tuple, dictionary in two ways. One is using built-in functions and another one is we can write the program without using built-in functions. So first we'll see how we can use built-in function to sort list, tuple and dictionary. Next, we'll write the program without using built-in function, okay? So first, here we are discussing about how we can sort list using built-in functions, okay? So there are two, one is called as sort, which is a built-in list method. So it is only applicable for list. And the second one is sorted function, which we can use on the all the iterables. So first we'll discuss about the list method sort and here we'll create a list. Okay. So I'll take 10 to 3.4, 1, 1.11. All right. This is my list. Okay. Now in sorting, we can sort numbers in two ways. One is in the ascending order. Another one is descending order. First, we'll see how to sort the numbers in the ascending order. So to sort the list in the ascending order, we need to use num, that is the list name, then sort. Okay, this is the method name. If I enter now, this sort method won't return anything, but it actually modifies the original list. That's nothing, but if now I check the original list, that is num, here we can see all the elements are in the ascending order. So next, if you want to arrange the number in the descending order, then how to do that? For that, we need to mention the list name dot sort. And here you need to set the reverse flag as true. Okay. So if you do this and enter, if I check num now, here we can see the numbers are in the descending order. Okay, so to arrange the numbers in the list in the ascending order, we need to mention like this. And in the descending order, we need to set the flag reverse as true. So if you ask why it is true, then if you write help list, the sort method is the list method. So if I enter now, here we can see the method sort. Okay. So this is the syntax here. L dot sort means L means list name dot sort method. And here we can see reverse equal to false. It is for ascending order. By default, it is set to be false. So we'll get the numbers in the ascending order. If you want descending order, then you need to change this value. If you change this as true, then we'll get the values in the descending order. Next coming to the key. This is the function which serves as the key for the sort comparison. If you want, you can modify the sorting process using this key function. By default, it is none. If you want, you can change this. We'll take one example. Okay. For this. I'll show you how to use key function and uh, modify the sorting process. Before that, we'll see how to sort the strings. Okay. So, and here we can see the strings and I want to sort them. So what I'll do is I'll use sort method, list one dot sort, enter. If I check list one, it will modify the original list. So here we can see list is arranged according to the alphabetical order okay first a b c d e and if you want in the reverse order that is first e next d next c next b next a you need to set the flag reverse as true okay 
and if you enter now if we check list one here we can see we'll get in the reverse order okay so next we'll see how to modify the sorting process okay so till now in the example we got the output in the ascending order or descending order or the alphabetical order or in the reverse order but here if i want to get the output based on the length of the string that is first i want b because the length of b is 1 next i want c c because length of this is 2 next i want a a a next e e e next d d d d d okay so if you want that then how to do that for this we can use the key function okay so for that we need to and here I'll mention key function till now key was none but here we want to sort based on this key so here I'll mention based on length okay if I enter and if I check list one here we can see B C C A A E E E D D D D D it is sorted according to the length okay that's where this key function is helpful when we want to modify the sorting process we can use this function here when it will sort the list it will check for the key and it is based on the length so it will first check the length of all the string then based on that it will sort the list okay this is the built-in list method but if you want you can write user defined function also here that is I'll take another list here I'll take nested list okay three seven okay so this is the nested list if I want to sort this what I'll do is sort okay so if I check list two here we can see it is sorted according to the first element that is one two three based on this it this list is sorted now if you want to sort this according to the second element of this list that is according to 10 9 and 7 if you want 7 first 9 second next 10 then we can define a function like this df second okay sort by second value i'll give the name of function as sort by second and here element okay here i'll write return element of one okay so index of first element is zero okay so this is one so i want i'll write element of one here now if i use list two dot sort key is equal to sort by second okay so if I check list 2 now here we can see this is sorted according to the second value 7 9 and 10 okay next we will see how this key function will work first we took the built-in method length as the key function so in this when this sort method is called it will see key is assigned as the length method and this key function will apply for each element of list so first it will find out the length of b so it will return 1 so next it will find out the length of this return 2 next it will find out the length of this and next it will find out the length of last element after that it will sort that length and it will give the output okay so this key function will applicable for each element of the list in the next example we took an user defined function we defined a function called sort by second and we took a nested list right here what will happen is when we call this sort method so it will see key function is sort by second function which is a user defined function and this function is defined here and this key function will apply for each element of list okay so first the element will be 2 and 9 that is the first list and so it will return the element in the index 1 so it will return 9 
next this sort by function will apply on the second list that is 3 and 8 and it will return the second element of that list that is 8 next this function will apply on the last list that is 1 and 10 and it will return the second element of that list that is 10 after that it will arrange that numbers and it will give the output okay okay so this is about the list method sort as I said this method is only applicable on list we can't use this method on other iterables and if you ask then how to sort other iterables then for that we can use another built-in function called sorted and in the next tutorial we'll discuss about that so thank you for watching this video i'll meet you in next class till then take care